Okay, so um, what I want to get on with now is to try and rebuild some of the packages that I've made a note of to rebuild. Now, I've been having a look through these and a lot of them have got common um, packages that need to be rebuilt, but so many of them rely on each other, it's hard to know where to start. Um, for example, a lot of them have got the Doxygen um, optional dependency to build documentation and so on. Uh, that in turn relies on uh, graphical subsystems which may rely on things like um, uh, text live and other other um, graphical systems like ghost script and so on and they in turn rely on you know maybe other things sort of like Valgrind and so on so um, and they they all sort of rely on each other so it's a bit difficult it's basically like a circle where do, where do you cut into the circle uh, the line on the circle it doesn't matter where you cut in you've got to cut in somewhere and just travel around the line of the circle so um, it's a bit of a, a puzzle as to decide what's important um, I could start at the top of the list but again that just you know the first thing I've got here is open SSH well that's not ex ex extremely necessary because I'm not going to be accessing this computer by SSH as part of the demonstration I, I'll, I will build it because it's a useful tool to have if you have got access from another computer uh, in which case you probably wouldn't be following this method of installing BLFS because I'm building it as if this is the only computer that, that is available to to build on then there's things like wget and links the next two packages we installed and I think they had um, either doxygen or, or or the uh, text live to install again their graphical subsystems so it just goes round and round another one needs uh, Java um, I think that's for make CA to enable it to produce some certain type certificates and that in turn needs graphical subsystem and audio things as well if you want to write programs in, in Java um, with sound then that needs an audio subsystem as well so yeah I don't I really don't know where to start um, Alternatively, I could just start at the end and work back upwards through the list. So that that may be an option. Um, I suppose another option is I pick a tool and just start building it and see what um, where that takes me. Uh, but I'm going to have to come back to this list at some time anyway. So I may as well just pick something and. Um, just go with uh, building it. So I'm going to start near the top of the list. I'm not, so I'm going to start at the very top. Um, but I'm going to look to see if there's any tool or app or library that's quite significant. Um, and maybe start there, I think. Yeah, it looks like I put some of these down twice actually. I've got open SSH again. Sudo. Yeah, some need dbus. There's a few of them when we're doing the XORG libraries. Um, and I've been looking at the Valgrind tool. It is pronounced Valgrind and it seems to be some tool that's useful for testing. So I've decided I am going to um, install that um, just to run more comprehensive tests on packages we install so again it's not important but if you want to be sure that what your buildings um, uh, you know well tested before you actually run it then it's um, probably a good good thing to do although it does seem to increase the time of um, uh, it takes to build um, packages because from what I've read it on the wiki page it does seem to be like a um, kind of an emulator like a virtual machine where it, it encapsulates code to run in its own kind of virtual machine um, to test it so I mean I could start with Doxygen as that does appear quite a few times but I do know that that does lead down lots of rabbit holes and it is going to be a case of having to rebuild packages maybe more than once 
So maybe I have to rebuild a few packages a few times. So yeah, maybe I'll start there. We may end up um, building other packages that if we started there, we'd probably go around the same circle. But um, as I say, it's where do you begin? Normally I um, don't build like this because I'm building remotely. It's easy. I can use a um, graphical browser on a remote machine and what I do is just go through the book build things as I need and just as you'll see how I do it just stack up in the tabs in the browser what packages I need and, and just work my way through and eventually you'll you'll resolve everything um, it works quite well the way I've done it this time is like ignore things and just make notes of what needs to be rebuilt so that's why I'm in this sort of quandary as to where to go next so I'm going to do control F, is there a control F here? No, F3. I don't seem to be able to do a search on this, so whether that's an option or something this can't do, I know it should work. So I don't know why the control F wasn't working. It is working now. Maybe I didn't have the cursor over the screen properly. So, um, Let's start with Doxygen then, and this will take us elsewhere. It could be many hours before we actually f come to the point where we can build this package. So let's get rid of these highlights. And things like CMake, I'm pretty sure they're up for rebuild. And they've obviously got their own dependencies. So I'm going to have to spend time looking through the list as we build things and tick them off my rebuild list as well as in the list of packages that I've built. Um, in fact, yeah, this could be, being as it's only got two requirements, we've got CMake installed already and Git is the only one we haven't got installed, I don't think. Um, let me go into the sources and just see if we've got a package package for that um, no we haven't installed that okay that's got one recommended which we've already got so in theory we could get git installed and doxygen installed and then go through maybe and rebuild the packages that require doxygen prop possibly or maybe start building the op optional because I think these have got some of these packages rely on Doxygen themselves which is where all these circular dependencies come in there's lots of them and they might be fairly immediate you know it might be only two or three packages apart these circular dependencies or there may be many packages you know, it might be 10 or 15 packages before you come back round to require building a package or an optional package that you're trying to build for anyway so um, yeah, I think this would be quite a good place to start at least would get Doxygen installed um, so things like this graph graph is it's got loads of dependencies all optional Yes, the, even this says since graph is a dependency of several other packages of the book, it's suggested to first build it without any dependencies, then to rebuild it when you haven't built enough packages to suit your needs. So that might be a way to go. Build Doxygen, earmark it to be rebuilt after all the optional has been built, then come to build graph is. Build all graph is optional, all of these packages. Um, see how we go and then come back, rebuild graph is, and then come back and rebuild all the, or build all the Doxygen dependencies and then finally rebuild Doxygen and then rebuild the packages that rely on Doxygen. That may be um, a way to go, I think. Um... Yeah, let's let's try that. See how how we get on. So, Doxygen, we've got CMake or some form of CMake installed. I think this needs a rebuild due to dependencies. 
yeah, it was for the QT, wasn't it installed, I think, I seem to remember. And I don't think it was subversion, so it probably wasn't tested either, or if it did, it would have failed. Um, so let's build git. Don't think curl added other dependencies, did it? Or is it has? So I imagine we've got a rebuild note for curl somewhere in the list. Um, yes. Okay. Let's start with git then. Oh, um, yeah, this has got dependencies for documentation as well. Let me see what these optional dependencies are, because these will get used. Yeah, see so this Valgrind keeps cropping up as well, and this has got, yeah, this points to other stuff that needs, yeah, this just shows how quickly you can get going round and round in circles. So yeah, let's stick with Git. So there's two ways to do this. We can either copy the um, link to the package and use wget to download it, or we can just simply right click it and save link as and put it in directly into the sources blfs directory so that might be easier so how big is that 5 meg that's not too big it's probably already downloaded yeah it's already done now i don't know how to get rid of these windows that download manager is going to stay here forever now I'm not sure Let's try and press that again. No. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of them. Let's try Alt F4. No. status bar that might be useful oh, there's a little download icon there let's try that no that won't get rid of it either download manager no it just brings it up and keeps it up so we can't get rid of it Okay, not a problem. Not too much of a problem. I'll just stick it in the background by clicking on those two to bring them to the front. So we've got some additional downloads. Um, ASCII doc and XMLTO. I'm not sure if we've got them. Yeah, we have. Yeah, so we could we could actually rebuild those. Let's get them anyway, because they might not build. Because I think they're I certainly think XMLTO is set for rebuild. Let's have a look at it. Look at both of them actually. Oh, so that only needs Python, so that's okay. Oh, this one needs FOP, so... Let's download the documentation for now, and we'll just rebuild Git when we've got more, de oh, more dependencies in place. So save link as, let's remember where we were. And okay, that's going to come to the forefront all the time. Okay, at least we'll know 
Let's stick that there. This will know where we've downloaded stuff. Um, okay. So let's start by extracting. So this is git 2.25. Get 2.25. So let's just see if there's any other configure commands. Looks like there is. So let's adjust the configure depending on what it says there. So this sets the config with Python 3 used to switch to allow Python 3. Python is only used for the git p4 package to perforce repositories. Okay, well that seems a sensible thing to do. Let's use that as well. With the PCRE2. So I don't think we've got PCRE2 installed. Um, but we have got the deprecated PCRE. So let's do this. And we have built it with the JIT enabled. So we can add that in. as well. So let's start compiling that. And build it. Uh, got to remember to move over. Okay, now let's attempt to make the main pages and other docs. So make HTML, HTML. That seems to be working. Okay, and let's try the man pages as well. Right, so now we can um, run make test. It says it can be run in parallel mode, so make minus J4 test.
Okay, so that has passed the looks of it. This is all 170 tax tests. So now we can install. So if you create the man pages and or HTML docs, run make install man. Install the HTML docs as a root user. And there's instructions if you didn't create them. Reorganize text and HTML in the HTML docs both methods. And that looks like that's it for Git. So once again, I've got to add this to my list to rebuild when the other optional ones have been built. So. Now, oh, Falcon, I think there's the main one there. Okay, so let's tidy that up. Install Doxygen. I think what I might do is when Doxygen is installed, um, I think I might go through Doxygen itself and follow all its dependencies and so on. Because um, I have a feeling this will tidy up quite a lot of the dependencies we've got. Um, I just remembered I need to um, I need to mark off git on my list chapter 13 um, okay Yeah, I think there might be a way to break into this. So let's download this file. Still in BLFS, always worth checking where you are because you may go looking for it and think, wonder where it is and where it's gone. Well, that download is very quick. 100. Oh, 5 megs, sorry, I was looking at the uh, disk space required. Okay. So we've got both required packages. We're ignoring the optional packages for now. We're going to install Doxygen, and then I think what, like I say, what I'll do is I'll go through all these optional, build them as much as I can, um, without noting that anything needs to be real rebuilt, and then come back and rebuild Doxygen um, when they're all installed. I think that that would be a good way to to start biting into this list. Yeah, so let's get the oxygen extracted. So install it with these commands. Have we got any extra command? Alright, there's a few extra ones with lots of it. So let's copy that much.
Right, so D build wizard equals on use a switch of QT5 is installed and you wish to build a GUI front end. Well, why not? We've got QT5 installed. D build search is on use a switch of Zapian is installed. So we haven't got Zapian, so ignore that. And we have got C Lang as far as I remember. So let's install that. And we've just got to put in these two dots to complete the command. Okay, let's run make. Right, so that is built. We can run the tests. So we've got an error there. Oh, right, it's Doxygen test. So because we haven't got Doxygen installed, it's trying to test itself, the looks of it. Doxy file, is that one of the I'm not sure. So I'm not really bothered at the moment because we're gonna rebuild this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um install. So I'm not going to generate the documentation because you've got to have all these other dependencies we haven't built yet. So we'll just run this to install. That seems to be okay. Okay, it's just saying about configuration without having some of the optional things installed if you want more functionality. So again, that's what we're aiming for. So let's tidy up. And now let's um, come up. So what I'm going to do is shut this down and get rid of that download manager that's annoying me in the window there. Let's start this up again. That's better. 